Hello guys, welcome back again to our new video. And medyo kakaiba ang video natin ngayon kasi we will be having a tech review. So today, what we have is something I bought from Lazada. So the question is, should you buy the Halo Solar LS05? So for the unboxing, what we have is a premium looking box. And when we open it, makikita natin the watch itself. And kasama na rin niya yung manual and the charging cable. And that's basically it. And for the specification, what we have is 1.28 inch touchscreen display na may 240 by 240 pixels per inch. And it weighs around 54 grams. For me, hindi naman siya mag-aal, naramdam kong sobrang cheap. May bigat din naman siyang konti, siguro dahil na rin sa metal body niya and sa glass screen. On the right side, meron tayong capacitive button that acts as wake up button, return home button, and shutdown button. Under the watch, you can see the heart rate sensor and yung pogo magnetic pins for charging. And of course, meron din siyang silicone strap na replaceable na pwedeng pwede kang bumili ng third party strap sa Lazada or kahit na anong store na gusto mong pagbilhan. So sa watch, we have different feature na pwede natin gawin. Of course, una na dyan is we can check the rate of our heart. In my watch, nirig niya yung heart rate ko for 24 hours. And ang cool ng interface niya kasi you will see kung gaano na ba kabilis ang takbo ng puso mo depende na rin sa color kung nasaan nakatutok yung pointer. Second is the sport mode niya which it sports 12 professional sports mode if you're into different sport. And if you want to check your body performance during the activity, you can also check the weather, use it as a stopwatch, countdown, breathing training, and find phone kung mahilig kang makawala ng phone mo. Nagulat din ako na you could also check the level of your body when you are sleeping. Nakikita dito if how many hours you sleep light and sleep deep. So sa settings naman, you can change the watch face. Actually, meron lang siyang 5 faces. And for me, not bad na rin siya for the price, diba? Actually, maganda na ngayon at may mga choices. You can also control the brightness. And ang pinaka-favorite na function ko talaga is the notification, music settings, and the find your phone. And later natin edit discuss kung bakit ko nga ba siya nagustuhan. So after opening the watch, you will be greeted by a QR code. This code will be used for connecting the watch to your phone. So the first thing to do is to download the application on Google or App Store. The app support for Android 4.4 and iOS 8.0 and above. Then, after downloading the app, just connect through scanning the QR code on the watch. For me, the application is very simple and very clean lang din. Here, you can also control the settings, turn on the apps that will send you notification, set up your alarm where it vibrates on your hand pag nag alarm siya. Meron din siyang location tracker which uses the GPS lang din ng phone mo. Also, in the app, nakikita ko din dito yung number of steps ko every day distance ng nalakad ko, and calories na possibly na burn ko. You can also track your heart performance. And also, yung sleep performance ko. Ang ganda lang kasi nakikita ko kung ilang hours yung deep and light sleep ko. The watch is IP68 waterproof. No worries sa sweat or rain, kaya huwag magalala kung mababasa siya or anything kasi it can handle naman. For the overall look of the watch, for me, hindi naman siya mukhang cheap. And it does not feel cheap compared to its price then. I like its round shape na parang normal watch lang din. Hindi katulad ng mga normal smartwatch na makikita natin sa market. Overall, it feels very premium naman. For the battery life, it says it can last for 15 days na 24-hour heart monitoring and 30 days for standby mode. For charging naman, it's very easy with its charging cable na magnetic na din. Hindi mo na kailangan na i-align ng sobra kasi kusa na siyang nag-align sa sarili niya. And it's very convenient, especially in the dark. So this is the top 3 main features na nagustuhan ko sa Renoto. First is the notification. Kasi dito, you can see the notification from your phone, especially sa mga apps na inalaw mo na magpakita ng notification sa watch mo. Pero hindi siya yung buong message kasi hindi niya pinapakita ng buo. Second naman is the music setting. Kasi you can control your music through your watch and it can also act shutter or record button to your camera app. Lastly is the Find Your Phone app. 
mahilig kasi akong in-space yung phone ko. Kaya very convenient sa akin to, kasi click mo lang siya sa watch mo, then maririnig mo na instant yung phone mo para malokin mo siya agad. So, going back to the question, should you buy the Hello Solar LS05? For me, definitely yes. Kasi if you're looking for a watch na mura but good looking, and hindi na rin naman nagkakalayo yung performance niya with other smartwatch in the market, bakit hindi, di ba? The watch is very good as compared to its price, and with its features, you cannot ask for more, di ba? And that's it. That's my review on the Halo Solar LS05. I hope you enjoyed this video and make sure to subscribe and like this video. And see you on my next vlog.